Hello and welcome back to In the Court of the Winter Knave. Um, we've reached it. Best album cover. Weasel's Rip My Flesh. Um, also one of his best albums. Is that an exaggeration? Maybe the best album by the original Brothers for me. Um, the sister album to Burn Me Sandwich. This is the officially the Mother's Swan song, although it is posthumous as well. Various bits and pieces recorded from various times, but some of it is, is pretty fantastic. What distinguishes it from Burnt Weenie Sandwich is this is more improvisations and this one was more written pieces, which, which asks an interesting question and one which left the mothers, some of the mothers pretty unhappy. They're improvisations. Now, they're, they're conducted by Zappa, but the, the musicians playing, it's the musicians choosing the notes in a way. You know, the question is, who's writing the music? Now, you could argue Zappa was very much an anti-jazz person, but ended up, ended up surrounding himself with jazz bit. A lot of his music sounds like jazz, but he would say it was modern classical, or it was not really pigeonholeable. I think you, know, you could argue that in the classical world, the composer and the conductor hold the power. The musicians have nothing to do until the composer and the conductor tell them what to do. In the jazz world, that's the opposite. Is that musicians are in control, they decide what they're going to play. Zappa's obviously in, in, in the, the classical category in terms of opinion, maybe. Mm. I'm not someone who con considers you know the original Brothers to be the be his best band anyway. So, you know. But yeah. So the album starts with Did You Get Any On You, which is an improvisation. Starts intensely, but then after a couple of minutes sort of dissolves into silly noises, silly vocal stuff, and then laughter. Because <laughs> it's so loud. But that's great. That's loads of fun. It's a great way to start an album, I think. Directly From My Heart To You is strangely out of place because this is from the Hot Rat Sessions. So maybe that would have had a bit, you know, would have belonged more on Chunga's Revenge. Probably would have helped that album as well. So it's strange that it's there. Then we have Prelude to the Afternoon of a Sexy Year Old Gas Mask, one of the best titles ever. Parody of something by Debussy, I think. Uh, then we have Toad of the Short Forest, which is a bit more of a plain piece, if you like. That's pretty cool. Get a little. Not sure why that's even on there. It's just a little bit of guitar noodling. Zappa used to use the word noodling to describe jazzos, actually. But to me that just sounds like guitar noodling, I don't think it really goes anywhere, so it's strange that he chose to use it if it didn't go anywhere. None of that matters because the next track is the Eric Dolphin Memorial Barbecue. I think that's certainly the best individual track by the original Brothers, one of his best pieces. Fantastic composition, and it is a composition, there's jamming in there, but it is, you know, it's the melody he wrote, is is wonderful. If I could write like that, I'd be very happy. Is it jazz? I don't know. It could be jazz. Typically there is a superior version by the 88 band, as with most versions by the 88 band, that version is better. It's interesting how it is humorous, it's kind of sarcastic, but it's it's certainly not suggesting that Eric Dolphy isn't good. And I think maybe the later version sounds less sarcastic, so don't know what that means, maybe more well played, whatever. The other big piece, Dwarf Nebula Processional March and Dwarf Nebula, some of his best music concrete since Lumpy Gravy. I think really good stuff on there. Uh, then my guitar, my guitar wants to kill your mama. Very astutely releases a single. It's Zappa's early song that, that was a single. There is a G3 version with Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, and Eric Johnson. Mm. It's great. It is great, and it worked perfectly on the album after the two sort of heavyweight tracks, if you like. Then we have Oh No, the vocal version of Oh No. Um, I think, as with Let, Let's Make the Water Turn Black, I think having vocals of that melody takes something away from the melody slightly, perhaps not quite as much as Let's Make the Water, but uh, it's still great. It's still a great piece, and it's nice to have it, sort of the, the definitive version of it. On It's on this album. Oh No is on this album, if you want to hear the basic version of it, that's cool. The Orange County Lumber Truck, it's not challenging to listen to, it's not complex or anything like that. It is just a great melody. And it's very typically Zappa, very typically Zappa. One of my favourites, really. But the album ends, of course, with Weasels Rip My Flesh, which is two minutes of feedback. Fantastic. Worked awesome in the context of the album, worked brilliantly. See you next time.